Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining. Hey Fatin, can Hi. you introduce yourself? This is Fatin, good morning everyone. Good morning, well good evening in the US <laughs> and good morning here in Saudi Arabia. Let me grab you in because it's like night time there now. I see. They are sleeping. <laughs> well, some of my folks don't sleep anyway. So let me just, I can't finish everybody but... Is it around 6 p.m. now? No, it's 12, 12 midnight. A.m. Yeah, wow. it's 12 midnight there. Yeah. So, let's see. Yeah. Hey, Vivian, how are you? Hey, Lenora, how are you? Thank you for joining. Megan, thank you so much for joining. Good morning, good morning, good morning in United States of America. This is Fatin. Introduce yourself. Uh, this is Fatin, uh, Stephanie co-worker and uh, i'm so glad to say hi to all of you hey christine welcome about the ship thank you so much now some of you came to my broadcast last night if you did not come to my broadcast last night please go on my facebook page and check it out this is the young lady that i talked about the one that uh nominated me right the one uh -huh. that I talked that they called and she kind of you know propped me up yeah so both of us are going to be on the tedx platform this morning saudi arabia women doing their thing so say, tell, what are you going to be talking about i'm going to be talking about how to channel your energy into things you could change rather than wasting your energy on things that are not under your control so tell me why why did you think that they got interested in, in your topic um because most of people uh, here like to play the role of victim like they victimize themselves and they start just blaming uh, conditions surrounding circumstances their families their traditions um, so I thought if they think how to channel their energy wisely they would definitely succeed and make their dream come true thank you so much again for joining uh, if you are just joining me right now my name is dr. princess Fumi Hancock well aka Stephanie right so uh, welcome about this ship this is Saudi living my life uh, in Saudi Arabia and with me is Fatin right here she is such a wonderful young lady and I'm telling you I am looking forward to watching did you, did you see that in Arabic what was yeah that? <laughs> We got some fans, Stephanie. I know, right? You're so popular. So it's just like, wait a minute now. This, that looks like Arabic. <laughs> I wish I could read it. But People watching from all good. over the world. Hey, Hi, hey. Ladies. As alaykum. As alaykum. 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 Dr. Lenore, welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining. I know that you guys are probably sleeping. I don't know why you're up. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are probably sleeping. Mm -hmm. I think this is therapy for us, people. Seriously. We are doing therapy before we hit the stage. <laughs> So when you see her eating, I told her, I said, you cannot go and speak and not eat. See, with me, I had my little cereal this morning. Never mind if the stomach is jittering. <laughs> <laughs> that was but, Stephanie's advice. Like, but you I must still, eat. Exactly. Rule number one. But I have to eat something. So it is important for you, if you are a speaker out there, uh, it's wonderful for you to always, you know, eat before you go on your gig. <laughs> so, Andre... Andrea, welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you for joining. All right, you're waving. We see you, Arabic person. We see, we see you. Oh, His thank name is you. Omar. Hi, Alan. How are you? Christy said, we, I wish you both the best. See, oh, let, me, let me say something about my broadcast here. Okay. I don't, I always say what I mean, and I mean what I say, and I don't. Ex exaggerate things right you guys know that I've been talking about this young lady for the last two or three days today is the first time I told her that I've been talking about her she doesn't know yeah. that I've been talking about her right and so you get to put a face to it you never know what can happen in your life through synergy you know that is why wherever you are don't put anybody down right because you don't know who is going to be used to go to take you to the next level right you never know and that's where wherever you are be your best you do you exactly. be you don't try to be anybody else right you are wonderful you are creative right you are powerful and you don't need to be anybody else and so today we're trying to be ourselves today yeah on tedx we'll be we <laughs> 
So, what is the message for those who are watching right now? What is the message? Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the thank you. We see that. Miles, welcome. What is your message to people that are watching? Because on my platform, I see I, I, a lot of people, Africa, London, wow. uh, Canada, uh, what? Uh, Guyana. I don't even know where Sounds Guyana great. is. Sounds great. Okay. Yeah, they, so, tell, tell them, what is what do you want them to take away with this yeah I want them just to always think that things would always change the only constant thing in life is change so whenever you think this is it you would have a new start whenever it ends you have a new beginning just don't feel this is the end because the moment you think it's the end you will start feeling depressed and you will start seeing things from a different perspective so uh, I, I just want them to always think that they should believe that they can because they could and they would. Uh, if they believe in themselves, in their potentials, if in the power they have, they can make wonders. Now, we, we know that a lot of the students and teachers, instructors on the campus, I don't want to mention the campus because yeah. we're going on our own volition here. Yeah. <laughs> And a lot of them, actually, it was really amazing to see how they lined up to buy the tickets. Yeah, Wasn't that amazing? I was amazed. I was amazed, you know. I was impressed. Like, I didn't think for a moment we would see these lines. Yeah. And we wouldn't have this encouragement from all our co-workers, right. our students. Everyone is dying to come. That's right. And the sad part is not everybody could come, even yeah. though they all can come. They all want to come. Some even bought the ticket hoping maybe they'll show up now let me tell you about one person that is in Bahrain yeah who is trying to come back do you oh, know her oh she's trying to come back and she's like but I want to buy the ticket I want to come oh I want God. to come but she's talking about it <laughs> so, she told me I want to yeah. make it before you show oh, up she was yeah. like well could you find out from them if I could just show up <laughs> and buy there so I called them and they said yeah but she has to send them an email but then um, you know what yeah, happened with yeah. that so it's amazing to see that's right a lot of support it's incredible because when I yeah, saw that line seriously. I was like wait a minute is this the line and the thing is there's still some students who still want to come and I some know. are going to take their driver to come there, not just on the bus. True. And then you have two buses, you know? Two, two buses, buses, and we had to ask the school to provide us with two buses as well. That's to right. To accommodate all students coming. Isn't today. that something? I know when I left that area, it was like, uh, that lady was, uh, is it Basma or Asma? Asma. Asma, She yeah. was on number 70. True. They told me they had. She was on number 70. We have more than 100. Yes, she was <laughs> on number 70. Yeah. And they're all paid. We're not talking about we come back and mm. pay. We're talking about they paid. And so the the organizers in the email, she said to me yesterday, she said, oh my God, the, the response from your college was just incredible. And for, and for me, it's just like, my goodness, even if I had done this in America, I don't know what would have happened, <laughs> right? And, and frankly, I spoke this into existence because I've always wanted to do this. And... It just didn't happen in America. I just didn't know it was going to happen in Saudi Arabia, which is which is big history for me because you know a black African American woman on the platform in Saudi Arabia. Now, let's think about that for a second, right? Let's think about and it, it just it just shows credence to what you just say that there's power in what you decide to do for yourself, sure. and don't be a victim. Exactly. Don't play the victim role because yeah, sure. it's not going to serve you well. So one last thing before we check out and go, yeah. <laughs> because we need to center ourselves. We're getting closer. So we need to center ourselves. But you know me, I'll be back again. So what, what, one more thing to them. I want to tell them thank you all for all the support, for all the lovely messages, for all your great words. You really made our morning and hopefully you have a great uh, day ahead. We'll see you later. To Bye. Tell you the news. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>